Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. This is actually my second time filming this video today. The first time I totally failed to switch my OBS scene from my HDMI input that I used to check focus to my screen capture. This time it looks like I've got it right, so let's get started. When editing guitars, drums, vocals, or whatever, in many cases having the right level of zoom is the difference between having a good edit and a bad edit. I know that we're supposed to use our ears and trust what we hear, but if I'm honest, when editing waveforms, I often also depend on my sight to help me to make proper choices. Reaper does have tools to help you to pinpoint zero crossings when you're cutting and slip editing waveforms, but at the same time, having a good visual representation of the waveform, as indicated by a proper zoom level, is critical to my workflow. Reaper also has plenty of actions and mouse modifiers to help you to find the zoom level that fits your workflow and your eyesight, but admittedly, using the built-in actions, I have yet to find the perfect one that fits my needs. That is, until now. Let's take a look and I'll show you what I mean. Making sure I actually do have Reaper in OBS, and I do, thank God. As I said, Reaper has plenty of built-in options to help you to find the zoom level that fits your workflow. For example, if I wanted to work on my snare top and snare bottom at the same time, I could highlight my snare top and snare bottom tracks by holding control and selecting each track, then hold control and shift and move up on my mouse wheel to make those tracks a bit larger. Once I'm at the desired height, I can then move my mouse wheel up to zoom in a bit and focus on a particular piece of music. There's a handful of other options to maximize track height and minimize track height, but none of them truly fit what I was looking for. I recently stumbled across a few actions included with SWS extension that make this a whole lot easier for me. If you're not familiar with SWS extension, it's a plugin for Reaper that adds several different actions and utilities to give you more tools to help customize your workflow in Reaper. As you know, Reaper is all about customization and allows you to truly create the DAW that fits your workflow and your needs. I know I keep saying workflow and needs throughout this video, but ultimately that's what it's all about. I know that there's several other DAWs out there that have a whole lot of different options, but I find that Reaper is the one that allows me the most customization to work the way that I want to work. Let's take a look at the zoom action. Again, you do have to have SWS extension installed in order to use this tool. If you don't have SWS extension installed, click the link above to learn more. To demonstrate, I'll minimize all my tracks, and if I wanted to work on Tom 1 and Tom 2, for example, I can do the same thing I did before by selecting Tom 1, hold Control to select Tom 2, and use the key press that I have bound to that action, and I've toggled the track height to exactly 640 pixels for each selected track. I can press the same key again to toggle them back to 50 pixels high. To find that action, I can go to my Actions list, and search for Toggle Selected Tracks Height AB. The proper name of the action is Zanakios, or however that's pronounced, SWS, Toggle Selected Tracks Height A slash B. You can see that I've got that bound to the caret key, or at least I think that's what it's called. That action by default won't do much. There is a little bit that you have to do to set it up the way that you want. Let's take a look at how that works. I'll close out of my actions list and go to extensions. If you don't have the extensions menu, you haven't properly installed SWS extension yet. So go to extensions and command parameters. The option in the command parameters dialog that we want to focus on is the track section at the bottom. You can set a desired height in pixels for track height A and again for track height B. It may take a little bit of trial and error to find what works best for you. For example, I can set my track height A to let's say 300 and press OK. I can run that same action again and now I'm toggling between 640 and 300. Let's go back to extensions and command parameters and set track height A back to 50 as that's my preference. I'll press OK. And again with any selected tracks, if I go to snare up and snare down and hi-hat, run that same action again, I can toggle those three between 50 and 640. But you can see a slight problem with this in that my Tom 1 and Tom 2 tracks are still at the 640. We can correct this by using another action. Let's go to Actions, Action List, and search for Minimize Tracks, and you should see the built-in Reaper action, View Minimize All Tracks. I've currently got that bound to a couple of different key presses. In order to bind any action to the key press that you desire, highlight the action, and at the lower left of the dialog, you should see Shortcuts for Selected Action, click the add button and type in the key press that you'd like. I've got mine bound to shift and the caret key or again whatever that's called and I've also got it bound to the at symbol for I don't know why I did that actually. So let's close out of the actions list and I can press shift and whatever that key is called and that will minimize all of my tracks. Of course you can also create compound actions in Reaper. Let's see if we can create a compound action to minimize all tracks and then toggle the ones that we have selected. We'll go back to the Actions list, and in the lower right corner, click New Action. From there, click New Custom Action, 
And we'll need to give that action a name. I'll call this minimize and toggle. In my filter, I can search for minimize all tracks. And there's my action, view minimize all tracks. And I can left click and drag that into the custom action dialog. And then I can search again for toggle selected tracks height AB and add that. We'll press OK. And let's test. First, I'll take Tom 1 and Tom 2 and run my usual action to toggle them. And now let's select snare down and snare up, highlight my new custom action, and test. Hopefully you could see I had to trigger that action twice in order to get the toggle to work. So let's try editing that custom action and adding another copy of toggle selected track height. We'll press OK to save, and let's try again. I'll select kick in and kick out, and run my custom action again. And now I have an action that works exactly as I wanted. It'll minimize all other tracks and increase the height of the tracks that I want to work on. So as you can see, using a combination of SWS extensions and custom actions, Reaper gives you plenty of flexibility to customize the DAW to work the way that you want it to. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee, I like coffee, Super Thanks, or Patreon links below. Visit us on Discord and engage with other Reaper users. And thanks again for continuing to support the channel and making it what it is today. We'll see you next time. I like coffee, but this margarita was pretty good after messing up that video the first time. I don't think I even want to do an outtake this time. I'm just a little too depressed to fool with it. Nobody looks at him anyway.